messed up the intro. You know what? I wasn't recording. I don't want to go over it again. Eel O'Neill, welcome. Yes. Erica Lee, welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Uh, Thank the you reason, for having me. Okay. The reason we're all here is to just have a discussion. There have been a lot of back and forth on social media mm -hmm. between mm -hmm. you two. You're both highly competitive. Um, I want to talk the way this is going to work. It's going to be a nice civil discussion. I'm going to ask a question. Someone's going to answer. I would ask the other person not interrupt. Let that person speak. And then when we get to a point, we'll have a little cross talk. I hope everyone can agree to that. I mean, I can. Okay. I will make the. Okay. Okay. Um, Eel, uh, mm -hmm. can you, can I talk to you about, about um, maybe your, I don't know if there's a relationship with Erica or you, how you've known each other kind of explain to me what, what's going on from, from your perspective. Before this event happened where I mentioned very singularly that I did not want to, to wrestle Erica Lee, the experiences that I have had with her are primarily positive. She's a good friend of my tag partner, Jordan Blade, the one and only, and a good friend of several other competitors who are absolutely remarkable. She herself is a remarkable competitor. I just mm -hmm. simply do not want to engage in combat with her. That is it. Okay. It, 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 so nothing really deeper. It just seems like a, maybe you have people you want to work with and not want to work with, and she kind of falls in the don't want to work with you list? There are plenty of opportunities and reasons why I would not want to wrestle an Erica Lee, and it is not anything that has to do with her. I do not have any negative feelings toward her other than the harassment and, uh, uh, of which I have suffered during this period. Okay, we'll get to that shortly. Let me speak with Erica. Uh, t talk to me about this from your perspective. Maybe just kind of give me a version as to what is going on between you and Eel from, from your end. I mean, from my end, yeah, I... I the objective series of events are as he describes, we've always had positive, pleasant interactions. And then just one day out of the blue, he just volunteered the information that he doesn't want to fight me, which didn't ask, but I, you know, I, I oh, was, was that, is, I'm maybe, sorry, can I finish? I, can I, I will, finish? I, oh, I, you'll, you'll just you'll let, her, let her finish and then we'll, we'll come back to you. Okay. It's information I didn't ask for, first of all, but I just think it's like a very disrespectful thing to go out of your way to say, oh, I don't, I, no, no thanks. I didn't ask. Okay, you. Fine. The, 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 the objective words there are very important. Notice I said compete, I said wrestle against, I said engage in combat with. That, 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 that's indicative of rules. And she said the word fight, not, not wrestle, not compete, she said the word fight. And that's, that thus is, is the crux of the entire situation. Okay, well, one of, the, one of the, the tweets she put out was she does want to, I guess, fight you with, 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 with rules, Erica. With, that... rule, with rules in quotation marks. May, may, may I go through a series of events in my personal life? Sure, sure, er yeah. Erica, Erica. So uh, uh, up until my, my uh, recent sort of rebirth, I was a, a, a lawless heathen, a, a, a junkie for, for, for violence, not competition, for, for violence, if that makes sense. And then after some run-ins with people who are, are, are pure wrestlers, who are actual masters of the craft, I, I have decided to, uh, to focus that, that, that violent streak into something built for competitiveness and greatness. Uh, as John Gresham would say, there was a difference between a, uh, a pure wrestler and a, uh, a, a fighter, a brawler, one Erica Lee. Uh, the things that we have in common, Erica, are thus. We both are violent. We are violent individuals, and, and Erica dresses it up in candy and neon, and people love her for it, and it doesn't matter what I do. If I am not my authentic self, if I try to smile and, and, and shine for people in an audience, they loathe me because they can see my violence, but she has them fooled with candy reviews and, and cute costumes. That is, that is, that is the crux. I, I don't want to compete against someone who is as violent as I am because we will die. Without rules, there is chaos and Erica Lee is without rules. Okay. So you would, okay, hold on Erica. So 
to, to clarify, when you indicated when she put the rules in caps that maybe you felt she was being facetious. She was being, not only was she being facetious, we were getting, she was, she was highlighting exactly the reason why I don't want to fight her. We've seen the bouts that she gets in and she is a remarkable competitor, just violent and, and, and brutal and, and, and barbaric. And just because it comes in bright colors, people think that she's fun and light and sweet. Uh, ask Billy Dixon after he hurt her nose, the chops that she destroyed him with. Ask, ask Jared, a good friend of both of ours. She, she is a monster, just oh. like me, except she has better branding. Oh, okay. Erica, how would you respond to, let me get the question out. How would you respond to him saying that you are both violent? He's attributing the violence to himself as he is to you. He is. I don't, I, no, I don't argue with that. Like, look at the business we're in. Obviously, we both have a penchant for violence. We enjoy fighting. No matter how you dress it up, eel, it's a fight. I don't, the, the, the idea that you say that I am the one with a veneer, that I am the one with a facade, that I am the one who has people fooled when you're, <laughs> dressing a pig up in lipstick by calling a fight a competition. Yeah, for, 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 if we want to, to talk about fighting and not engaging in rules. Talk and, about rule, and, rule following, little Mr. Interruptions here. Uh, Can't wait for his questions. I'm fine. Mr. Loves the rules, but hates the debate, apparently. Maybe fine. that's the reason. Maybe that's the reason, Eel, that you don't want to fight me or compete or wrestle or have, you know, this grandiose um, theatrical masterpiece. Some semblance of it. I'm oh. Okay, you're both. All right, you had to boot you both. Come, I. I'm good. I'm good. I waited my turn for my questions. I had my answers coming. I was prepared. I'm able to follow the rules. Okay. Okay. Erica, okay, moment. Eel. Um, I'm, I'm fine. Okay. Now, I'm trying to figure out the, the best way to approach this. Is it maybe because Eel, Erica, and I'm Erica, this is going to be a quite a little bit of a hard question, but I want you to. Stay cool. Wait, is it for me? Is it for Eel? No, it's for Eel, but you're going to get mentioned and it might be a little rough. So I just want you to, you know, take oh, okay. a breather. Okay. Eel, is it because of the branding and the veneer that maybe you think Erica isn't being authentic? That's why you won't compete. I, I, I never questioned her authenticity when it comes to her skill in the ring. I questioned her authenticity as far as presentation and and and. <laughs> trend when it comes to me and and jordan you said off air i will i will say we did have a conversation before erica showed up matt said that the thing that he liked about the kings of the district is that we did not have a varnish we did not have a, a gloss we do not gild the lily er, 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 erica lee is a little bias here. violent lily i i do not i do not mind her as a competitor what i do mind is is this this this, this assumption that people have, that because she is so bright and comes out and dances, that she's somehow a, a good guy. A good guy when she will drop someone on their head just the same way as anything. Me, me, when it comes to me, do you know what kind of wins I enjoy? Ones without punches, ones with, 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 with submission, where I make my opponents tap out. That, 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 that's what I enjoy. Uh, Erica Lee. If you've watched an Erica Lee match, these fights, they, they devolve into brawls. It's, it's baseless violence. And while I once was a man who would revel in baseless violence, I am just a tad bit more evolved, thanks to a certain grappler's guild. <sighs> Thank you, Eel. Erica, what is your response that this cotton candy neon coating is somehow deceptive and that you are at base you know just a violent entity 
I do not get in the ring solely to pedal candy or or do the worm. I get in the ring to fight people, to win wrestling matches, to wrestle. I find it absolutely absurd that Eel is is positing that it's my look that offends him, that I'm, oh, I'm oh, what's pulling absurd people is, is when, into, because uh, look, you don't, he, you don't he, you can't, he wants to think that he's just involved, involved, and is no an immature grappler, but no, really he's no, just a fighter no, in the you, end, you, he's you the same are as me, he's the same as me, he can't follow the rules, he's doing it again! The thing about the reason that Eel doesn't want to fight me, and this is this is what I think. The reason he called me out specifically is because he is afraid. He is afraid that he gets in the ring with me and all of his ideal okay. afraid. I am afraid. Of, of I told you I was being involved being with the rules, rapper with being actual, with actual, out the with window. Actual, as soon as he can do it, he goes out no, the window and all he can do is no, all he can do is throw I down all no he can creature. do. Here we go. I am a like freaking monster. I am a like freaking monster. Like everybody else. Sophisticated violence personified. And I would. Uh, no. I can't. End of interview. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I'm sorry. Did he just leave? Yes, he just left. Oh my God. He just. He, you. Erica. No, no, no. I. I have hold on, hold on. Saw, you saw the way he got too excited, too enraged, could not contain himself, was talking over me, could not follow the rules of a debate. The rules of a debate of an a mediated conversation. It's not even a debate. We're just trying to have a conversation. And he can't even follow the you know rules that you had set up as the moderator, as a mediator. He can't even talk within a structure. How is he supposed to? Right, how they sort of grapple within a structure of rules. It's absolute bullshit. He can't do it. He can't do it. So are you, can I ask a question now? Are you good? Because there was a lot, there was a lot of energy from both of you that kind of just came flying out. Well, there was a lot of energy on my time. It was my time to answer the question. And, and you would have heard everything. I would not have been so impassioned if I hadn't been interrupted over and over. I heard most yeah, of it. I heard most of it. And it, and it, to, and just to, to me, it sounds like there is this, I can't believe you left. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, there is this, he has an issue with, again, the neon and the, that, and that the react that when he gets violent, it's an issue. When you do it, it's, Oh, it's fun. And it's, it's Erica. And, and maybe, but He's so obsessed with the idea of having this, this substance over flash, you know, this, this integrity, so to speak, of, of a grappler and not just the, the base instinct of a brawler wrapped up in, you know, a neon wrapper. But he's the one, he's the one who brings it up over and over and over again, if you notice that. Okay. Do you think, you know, he's got this whole thing, like he's kind of praying at the altar of Jonathan Gresham where he's- Oh my God. <laughs> like, could he have dropped that name any harder? <laughs> like where he's, he's got this, you know, this devotion. I don't know. I don't want to say devotion. I don't know if it's a devotion. I don't know if it's a disciple thing. I mean, he called it a rebirth. Yeah. It was a little, it was a little much. A, li a little much. <laughs> he he has this grandiose self image and, and that's, it's the image. He keeps going back to the image, like my presentation, his presentation, the image, the image that when he wants to be talking about substance, he's talking about style. When he wants to be talking about integrity, he's lying his ass off. Okay. So you, is it, you think he, he's kind of altered again, rebirth altered himself into this grappler, into this technical, thing to like mask what he was before because i've seen what he was before and yeah. he would be in that ring and he would just stomp people out and it was yeah just, it was great it, it was well in in terms of is it is 
who's the eel you want to wrestle? Do you want to wrestle the technical, the disciple of Gresham? Do you want to wrestle the brawler? You know, do you want the fighter? Which, how, how does this, I mean, you drove what, four hours to where he trains? Talk to me about that. That's what I, you know, let me ask that question. Tell me what happened with that. So I want, I want to answer both questions. Um, first, yeah, I did. I drove four hours. Okay. To 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 see if, if we could work it out. Um, obviously that did not go as planned. I wasn't like gonna jump him. I wasn't just gonna like, you know, sucker punch him. I just thought if I show up at a ring, you know, he'll give me the time of day. He'll give me the the at least, you know, the respect that you would think any any wrestler would give another who drew, who drove four hours to be there. You'd get you'd roll around with them, you know? Okay. You would give them the time of day. But he didn't. He walked right out. So to answer your first question, who do I want to fight, the, the grappler or, or, or the, the fighter? Before tonight, I would have said either, right? Like, he looks like a lot of fun back in the day when he was down people's faces. He looks like a lot of fun as a submission, tecker, grappler, whatever you want to call him. But after tonight, What I've learned is that they're the same person. There's no difference. He wants you to think he's be, he's been reborn. He wants you to think that he's some new evolved self. And he's not. I think no matter what happens, if we get in that ring together, it's going to devolve into a fight. It's going to devolve into a brawl. And he won't be able to tech his way out of that because it's going to be on him. It's going to be his instincts and his penchant for violence that brings us there. I'm, after, after this conversation, I am so certain of that. Well, in, as I see it, and I'm, I've you know, been watching wrestling a long time, um, he seems to, you want the match with him. He has no problem with you personally. It seems to be a professional style issue. Um, again style style. style maybe maybe he has this thing about he's become this new reborn eel o'neill that maybe he needs to like maybe prove something to himself that he is an evolved past what he was yeah um you know if if, if he was if he was to propose a contest with certain conditions would would you agree to them I mean, yeah, it, de- it depends on the conditions, obviously. Like, I'm not going to go in blind and just say, whatever your rules are, whatever your situation. Oh, no. But, um, I, yeah, I think so, yeah. And so, it, like, if, if he was to say, hey, I want this, this, and this, and we can, comp- and we can compete, are, like, is that something you would be open to down the road? If you're, Absolutely. If you- He's not surprising you. He's telling you, okay, we're going to operate under these particular rules. If, it's, if it has to be on Eel's time and it has, has to be what he needs for it to happen, that's fine. That's fine. I just want to fight. I just, I just, it can't, I can't keep going back and forth with him over, over <laughs> the, the minutia of, oh, it's just your style. Oh, I have nothing against you personally. Like, I, I, want, I want that, that level of, of mutual respect. Okay. And granting me um, a bout would would do that for me. Okay. Is it because I feel like, again, I feel like he's in this place where he wants to prove something to himself. He wants to prove something to his new mentor, Gresham. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, d- you know, we've got the pure tournament going on. What if he wanted to match under those rules? Under um, pure rules. Under pure rules. Yeah, I yeah, obviously, yeah, I would, I'd be fine with that. It's not like I have like a thing against rules. I mean, I'd have to like look them up because I don't really know what they are. But okay. um, two yeah. seconds, we we have Wikipedia. Hold on, let's, let's take a look at those rules. Yeah, bust them out. I'm sure I have no problem with them. I'm sure it's going to be a non-issue for me. Okay, so we've got okay, so actually, I got on Wikipedia. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's uh, looks like there's three rules. I've not. I've only watched like one of those matches. 
There's only uh, three rules. It seems like there is. I've I remember when they had this title back in the day, like Samoa Joe had it, and then it went away, and now it's back. Uh-huh. Um, and I think uh, let's see. Each okay, so it seems like it's a modification of like Ring of Honor's original like rule set. Okay. Um, so it's each wrestler has three rope breaks to stop submission holds and pinfalls during the match. So three rope has, breaks. Has how many? Three. Three. Okay. Um, after a wrestler exhausts his rope break, submission and pin attempts under the ropes by the opponent are considered legal. Okay. Sure. Um, two, there are no closed fist punches to the face allowed in a pure match. Only open handed slaps or chops to the face are allowed. Punches to other parts of the body, save for low blows, are permitted. The first okay. use of a closed fist would get a warning, and the second would cause the wrestler to be penalized a rope break. If he is already out of rope breaks, he would be disqualified. Oh, yeah, easy peasy. And um, a wrestler is subject to a 20 count by the referee if the wrestler goes to the floor. You get even longer to get back in? Well, that's like, it, it seems like New Japan rules, because New Japan has a, has a standard 20 count. Yeah, I think, yeah, there's, there, there are places, but that, so, yeah, what? Oh, okay. These are the rules that we're putting up on a pedestal. These are the rules that we're like. Oh. I don't. I don't know if he. I don't know if he's putting them on a pedestal, but I feel like this. This new Eel O'Neill again seems like he wants to impress his mentor, so he would want to compete under, you know, the the rule set that his his mentor cultivated, uh-huh. and and wrestles under and has won a title under. Yeah, that's great. Um, sure, sure, Eel. If that's if that's what you're going for, if that's what this whole stunt was about, you want me to agree to a pure rules match you got it bub absolutely i i <laughs> i wish you luck i hope um i hope you do your mentor proud but yeah i'm game i'll be there wherever whenever wherever i got you <laughs> um that was a, a spirited discussion um, i cannot believe he left i cannot believe he he virtually stormed out virtually <laughs> What a baby. That's okay. How, how, I saw your Halloween. Uh, great out, great costume, by the way. Um, Thank you so much. Yeah. Not uh, Halloween's kind of like a, it's like I'm on and off with it. I, I kind of just chilled at home and watched movies this year. Um, I watched Wreck It Ralph and Alien. Okay, I watched uh, Halloween, the 2019 Halloween, which okay. I enjoy. Okay. And I watched um, one of the Hellraiser movies. I think it was two. Oh, okay, cool. cool. So, you know, and then watch some other stuff. Chill uh, holiday. <laughs> I'm still like kind of worked up. I, don't know. <laughs> I, I guess that's as, I mean, as a competitor, when you, when you have people you want to work with or you have people you want to compete with, fight, whatever, whatever the, 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 the terminology yeah. is, like, is it like, how frustrating is it when that person doesn't want to work with you? When this is it right here. This is, you're seeing, it. I'm, I, I've never been in the situation. I've never been in a situation where someone went out of their way to tell me they didn't want to work with me. Mm. Just yeah, you know, like he just that to me that to me is like the crux of the issue. It's like he he wants to talk about oh the crux of the issue. Oh, Erica Lee, the crux of the issue is. But <laughs> the crux of the issue for me, Mr. O'Neill, is that you went out of your way to tell me you didn't want to match with me when I wasn't asking. Okay, so now now that you're not you weren't asking, now you're kind of like now the, I'm asking. <laughs> I wasn't before, but now I am. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> I know uh, his his partner Jordan Blade has really kind of stayed out of this. She's very she's like y'all sorted. Yeah, no, Jordan Jordan and I are really good friends. Um, and I would never try to put her in the middle of it. I've never asked her like, hey, can you talk to him for me? Hey, can you do this? Hey, like I've never um tried to get her involved. Um, <laughs> she's a very dear sweet friend to me, and I know that they're obviously close and have a professional relationship, and I wouldn't want to mess with that. Um, but. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of, it's it's a little mind blowing to see how well they work together, knowing personally how much of a clown he is. Really? Wow! You're just dropping the c word on him. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, what else are you gonna call that? That that exhibition was was clownish. Like, just to to come on yeah. here and 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 parade yourself about like that and then storm out talk over me talk over you and then storm out it's, um that's really? just clown stuff so okay so you're calling like the the shirt the tie all of that yeah yeah Bons- got got himself all all gussied up to to come on here and then and then leave early i i mean wow call a clown 
Uh, <laughs> I feel like lately because like I'm trying to we're, we're all trying to insult people in 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 non-problematic and fairly okay ways clown just seems like a nice all around <laughs> like you're a clown bro yeah you're honestly you're clowning yourself you know like that's that's a good one for me because because you want that old eel the guy who would like walk in into the ring like basically pouting which I've seen like he's walked into the ring sat in the corner yeah, the bell yeah. Rings, he just gets up and runs at whoever it is and i just, mean if i'm looking back on it now with this new lens i don't call that clown shit too you know he, really yeah honestly i think okay. he's, he's got something he needs to work out that's fine <laughs> so, so, so what, what's the part that you want to compete with is it that kind of in between the bell thing when the bell rings and he turns into this violent person this violent entity that is that that the person you want i i i told you i think i think that's still who he is and, i think he's putting he's putting a whole lot of makeup on this pig but <laughs> okay that's still who he is <laughs> oh man I, I i look forward to it um how, how's the how's that we're gonna awkwardly transition here because i'm just gonna i'm not gonna edit this much i'm just it's sunday okay. I'm, I'm free flowing uh okay. how's the how's the van dam thing going <laughs> um it's good we have um two left okay the, um so the last one i watched was um oh my god was, was it universal soldier yes thank you so much the, oh yeah because the, i saw the i saw the photo of uh the, the van butt <laughs> the van butt had like a <laughs> good chunk of screen time in uh in universal soldier um fabulous movie yeah it's, like, it's, it's so good. so good um it's not even just like a good van damme movie it's just a good movie like the, the the um the plot was super interesting i felt like a lot of the like foreshadowing and metaphors weren't super heavy-handed um the cinematography was great like the, the oh who was it um we looked it up, and I think the director of photography had done a couple um, other movies that we really liked. Yeah, it was, it was probably, I think, it, I want to say it was, it was either Joe Dante or Jan Debont, because Jan Debont went on to direct stuff, and he was a cinematographer for years in I that can't time. Remember, but I know we looked it up, and, and the other movies that he had done, we were like, oh, shit, yeah. okay. Um, you know, it's a very well-shot movie. It looks great. Production so design. There's that scene at the end, um, or near, near the end. It actually goes on a little bit longer than we got um, yeah it's about 20 yeah, minutes longer than it should be yeah just a little bit there right <laughs> but there um she's like getting on the bus or then decides no she's gonna stay so she comes back and he sees her and it's like this happy moment and the bus pulls away and there's like 50 cop cars behind with everybody's got their gun drawn and it's just such a good like it's such a good reveal um but yeah universal soldier was awesome but it's definitely in my top like two or three okay um, and then we've got um, Double Team with Dennis Rodman. Okay, yeah, that's, that's... coming up, okay. which I think will be a, a certain dip in quality. Um, and yeah. then we'll we'll cap it off with Bloodsport. Okay, did you check out? Uh, did you get a chance to check out Death Warrant? Death Warrant is the one where like, it goes I undercover think... in the prison. That's one I we had talked about last time. Yes, we definitely did watch Death Warrant, and I liked it because that's the one where um, there's that character named Priest. That, yeah, it's, uh, it's Robert Robert Guillaume is the like the old like caretaker type character in the prison. But yeah, he's a he's a mounty. I was totally wrong. He yeah, he's a mounty who's like his partner gets killed, so he goes undercover. Yeah, and then there's like the the um the other like the like the big twist is that it's like an inside job from the police yeah. department, right? It's like an inside job with like the warden. Like they're doing something with the prisoners. If you're like they're doing like like stealing organs or like yes yes that's that's, what it is there's there's a couple (laughs) different subplots yeah and then there's like the the other cop who's like pretending to be his wife who comes to visit him and then there's like that whole subplot yeah Yeah. um you get Um, you get you get van damme and and lots of denim prison denim mm -hmm, prison denim (laughs) in a specific kind of denim and yeah there's a lot in that movie because you get you get shirt pants kind of can eat little prison tuxedo then, yeah, you get, little <laughs> then you get tank top denim and that's like fight mode van damme yes yeah the i think the final fight scene in that movie what's the, the villain's name the sandman sandman yeah the sandman um uh 
the final fights in that movie is crazy. Yeah. It's, crazy. it's, it's very like, you know, dystopic, gladiatorial, uh, you know, grim dark, grim dark before grim dark was a, was a thing. Um, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a, I don't want to say dark movie, but it's definitely has tries to have a more serious tone than maybe his other yeah, ones. Yeah, no, it, it was, it was, um, yeah, I, I know exactly what you're saying. The feel of it was pretty different from his other movies, but I, I did like it. Um, I felt like there was, uh, it was like a welcome change from like sort of the campy stuff. You know, yeah. yeah. And, he, and he's, he's gone up and down, but I think it was also, and kind of Van Damme related, but the one I had sent to you shortly after the, not Van Damme, but like the perfect weapon, which I think is from 92, 93. Mm. Cause you like the poster. Like he has the, he has the jacket with the rolled up sleeves and on the poster, <laughs> it's the poster. It's like no gun, no knife. Oh yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Yeah. That, uh, is, that is a very, I think that was, I forget the studio, but I think it was like, Arnold had, st- like, v- Seagal was putting stuff off of 20th Century Fox. Um, Van Damme was, like, with a certain studio. I think the studio was trying to do, like, its o- get its own, like, martial arts guy. Okay, yeah. Might have, I think what the plan was to get their own martial arts guy. So they got Jeff Speakman, who's not a great, I don't know if great acting applies to any of these films. <laughs> who's um, not great. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's, he's, and he's, like, a cartoon character because he pretty much wears the same clothes throughout the whole movie. He's got like the shirt, the jacket, the, maybe the sleeves go up and down. He's I got the, like that though. He's got the stubble. He's got like the, the product hair. Um, <laughs> it's like he returns back to where he grew up, where he trained. So he goes to like his sensei, his brother's a cop and his brother's like, you stay away from this. So there, there's a lot of, of 90. It does sound like up my alley though. It's like a very trope filled yeah. martial arts but the yeah. tropes are like they're so obvious, like it loops around. It's like it's like oh, that's corny, but it's not really because everything is corny. Kind right? Of- yeah, the bar is already like set at a certain level, so you're <laughs> like, it's not even matter. And even like a, there's a short part by uh, SVU's Mariska Hargitay. She has <gasps> no lines. She has no lines. You see her in the beginning, in the end, I think, and maybe once in the middle. She has, she's a she's in the dojo. I guess they knew each other, but she barely, she doesn't speak or barely speaks. Not that I remember. What? Um, I love Mariska Hargitay. She is a total babe. Um, she and um, uh, Chris Maloney are both Maloney. like, what a, what a duo. I, whew. SVU. I mean, I grew up on OG Law and Order, but then SVU came along when I was a teenager um, and I got She's so that. good. So good. Anyways, like in its twenty third season. It's in its twenty third, and then Maloney's coming back with another. I think they're gonna wrap up SVU soon, and then Maloney's coming back to do. It's called Law and Order Organi- Organized Crime. Oh. And it'll be like Maloney in charge of his own little little. You know, I always, I always told myself if it ever ended, ended. It's just gonna end with like him and her just like going off in a truck to like go run a farm or something. <laughs> They're like, we're retiring together. Come on, families. <laughs> everybody in. <laughs> Jump in the truck, put everybody, put iced tea in the back of the pickup and just like drive off and go like <laughs> run a dairy farm and sell ice cream at farmer's markets oh up in upstate God. New York. I think that would be a fitting end for, for those. But thanks for, for doing this. Um, yeah, he, will, he, will, he was, I'm going to try and have him and Jordan on again separately. That'd be fun. Yeah. Um, I trying to get ta- trying to get tag teams on is tough because no one's schedules are matching up right now. Right. So I'm I'm trying. I mean, if they're my first tag team, awesome. That's great. Um, but yeah, you two uh, you two need to get in a ring and sort this. Gotta settle this. So so kind of you know you've kind of said a bunch, but I really want to give me like if you want to say something to Eel, I will give you all the time you want. I'll probably you know just say i know you've said it all but i kind of want you to give me a little bit as to you know what you want from eel what i want from eel yeah what i want from eel is a obviously give me a match right don't don't disrespect me any further by by ducking me you know just Give me the match. And the other thing that I want from Eel 
be yourself, man. Whoever that is, just be yourself. Good. Then we go in. And that's good. Erica, thanks so much. Eel, thank you, Post. Um, I will thank you anyway for coming. Thank that joker. He left. Oh. <laughs> Folks, uh, thanks uh, at Matt P. Douglas on Twitter. You can find at Erica Lee on Twitter. She does great candy reviews. That's right. Um, also, we're probably going to, this was a, a little JCVD intermission. When we get through the next two, we'll have her back on to do a, a, a post game. with for, A final for, ranking of a all final the rank, ones that I yeah. watched. We'll do, yeah. we'll do a final ranking. You send me everything you watched, so I have them. And we'll do a little mini breakdown. We'll go through. Yeah. Um, and then, I'll have to like write up some notes because at this point yeah. they're so scrambled up in my brain. Yeah. No, get, get some notes. Then I want to make this like a proper post game. I feel like okay, John Van Damme deserves, you know, the, the, the proper respect for his, his cinematic catalog. It's true. Um, that we, that we, we've seen so far. Um, folks, you know, I'm on YouTube. I've talked to Erica. This is second time. It's going to be third. I keep pointing the wrong way. Um, I've talked to Alex Shelley. I'm going to have you little Neil on again, hopefully when he doesn't choose to leave yeah early um you know i've had i've had a uh, professionalism four. yay <laughs> erica again thank you so much and we hope to see you and eel o'neill in a ring sometime in the future yeah yeah same here thank you for having me thank you oh.